Hi, it's Linda with CreativePLR.com, and today I'm in Missing Letter. Missing Letter is a great tool to promote your blog post and post it to things like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and other social media platforms. So it does this. This is great for the printed word. Now, if you don't have a lot of content, they do have options. Just like in Pinterest, you can post other people's pins to your feed. You can post other people's content. And so they do have some curated posts. You tell them what you're interested in, and they come up with articles um, about that. And then here are my posts that are coming next, which I can also look in my calendar. But today we're going to set up a campaign. I'm going to show you how easy it is. So I have my active campaigns, my drafts, and my completed. Quite honestly, I all of these drafts really are completed because... Uh, once they're completed, I reuse them and put them back in drafts. And you'll see that most of them are holiday things, different holidays, Black Friday, um, Halloween. And so today we're going to use increased productivity with time, uh, time blocking. And I'm going to generate a campaign. And what kind of campaign do I want? Well, productivity and time uh, blocking is a 12-month evergreen. But today I think I'm going to do six months. And so you could do a two-week blast. Let's say I have Halloween products. Um, I, you know, I'd want to do a two-week blast with that, um, or even a two-month blast if I want to start in August, August, September, October. Yeah, that would give me up to uh, Halloween. That would be great for if you're selling to, um, you know, Etsy customers. Uh, a two-week light, two-week blast, six-month evergreen, twelve-month evergreen. So today I'm going to do a six-month evergreen. And they say they're going to send me an email, and I'll just wait because it's going to be a few minutes, and then I'm going to be ready to go. Okay, so now it's popped up to the top, and I'm going to go ahead and set up the campaign. And it's going to ask me my hashtags, which it automatically assigns, and I can scroll down. Some of them make sense. Some of them don't. And so I look, and I see most of these I pretty like. Hours-long uh, increments, I don't like that one. So I click on that. I select the media. I have media here. And if I want, I can always upload more media. Then I select my quotes. And I tend to not use really long quotes because every once in a while they'll have a really long quote. And I don't use those. Um, I like short quotes. And those look pretty good. And so then I would say build a campaign. And you can see I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to have eight different posts from this. And I would say click build campaign. And then it would go up here and it's going to give me whatever I want to see each day. Okay. Now, I don't have a lot of uh, media, a lot of images with this. So on the days that I don't use images, that it's going to give me a little quote bubble. So I click on this. And I like this quote, so day zero, it's going to be that. Increase productivity with time blocking. Um, I might want a different quote there. Um, I like that. And I might want a different quote there. And that's when you don't want those really long quotes. Okay, so I've got day three done. Um, I like that. And so I'm going to go through and I'm going to set up my all of my posts and I'm setting them up one time and if you think about how you would naturally do this eight posts to three different social media it's going to my Facebook my Instagram and my Twitter so eight posts that's actually 24 posts eight posts to three different platforms so 24 posts how long would it take you to write and create 24 posts and then I would launch my campaign. And it took, what, maybe a, about a minute and a half to do that. And so what it's doing is, uh, it says, back to my dashboard, let's go look at the calendar now. And the calendar is going to show me all the posts that I have scheduled. And you can see that I have a whole bunch scheduled. So you'll have anywhere from a two-week light uh, to a 12-month evergreen. This is July. And so I have all of these posts. And I can look at August and what I really like to do. And you'll notice I have nothing posted on Sunday because Sundays is the day that I 
post my blog. And so naturally the new blog will always get posted on Sunday. I do like to move things around. You can see how easy it is to move things around. If I only have one post for the day and three posts for another day, I like to switch them around so that I kind of spread out the posting and that looks good. And then I can look at September and I don't worry about if I have it like there's nothing scheduled for that day. Two months out, I'm not worried about it because um, I know that I'm probably going to have something posted. I've got like 10 more blog posts that I can post there. And so I'm not worried about one whole. And as we go on, you'll see that I have more and that I just like to scooch them out around a little bit and kind of ship them. I do like to keep the Sundays empty. So I will move things around and keep my Sundays for my new blog post. And that's how easy it is. So to get all of your blog posts, uh, new eyes on your blog post, that's how easy it is to use simple tools that will automatically schedule those blog posts. I hope this has been helpful. And if you write blog posts that you'll give missing a letter a try and see if it'll work for you.